Hello Dwight Grossing and to all them guys from Canada and I'm right now in Vancouver and Kabul offices and I have prepared a short video for you just to show you how, to can, how you can add new sources of data. So here we come, this is Kabul connection and as you can see we got lots of extractors here. These are already extractors with GUI so you can use it just click 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 and add it to your project. Then there's lots of other extractors without GUI and you can actually write your own extractors according to this documentation which is fully documented. But anyhow, let's come back to our case which was adding data from Google Analytics. So what you would do, actually you would go here, you would click on Google Analytics and it will take you here. I just prepared the steps so in case of the internet is slow we can really see it really fast. So here you go into the Google Analytics uh, extractor, you pass in your credentials, you log in into Google through Google Gateway and then there's a preset config of things that you will actually extract from your uh, Google Analytics account. So you click run this config or you actually can add new query into this. So you can write like queries from the data in uh, Google uh, Explorer as you want. But we have prepared these like typical queries for you. So once you run this config, then all the data gets imported into Kabula connection. And for example, here I have two tables, traffic sources and visitors. I can see that the table of visitors has an overview when I did it, when I uploaded and stuff. What is the source of the table? What events were actually performed on the table? So everything is audited and documented. And I can look at the data sample. So we can see the IDs, you can see ID profile, visitor, country, date, blah, 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 etc., etc. When I look into the graph, it actually shows me what is going on with my table during the Kebula connection, kind of. Uh, throughout the Kibula connection uh, workflow of the data. So it gets extracted, then it goes into out bucket where I perform some things on top of it, and then it goes into the, into the uh, writer for uh, good data. So it can be displayed inside good data. What I do, I set up a writer here in writers. I can show you. It's really easy. Inside the writers, we have or a couple of writers so once you kind of bring the data in you blend them you do some transformations you can then you know like write it into Amazon cloud search you can write it into any database as you want uh, into Elasticsearch into Tableau into your own uh, you know like watch Pebble etc or you can write it into the good data so I do already have I've already set up a writer for this which is a writer iCrossing test and it's a good data writer. I use this out bucket and you can see I've pulled two tables, visitors and traffic sources. And this actually comes from here, hold on, where I have it here. You can see there's an out bucket I created and it knows that there's two tables, so it draws it into here. What I do now, I look into the table and I set up the connections. So I said that the date is a connection inside the inside the visitors table and from the traffic source I go as the date in visitors table as a reference point. So I kind of bind these two tables together. And that's it. Then I push upload to good data project, upload project and the Kebula, Kebula system automatically actually provisions the good data project for me. So once I click on this, I wait a bit and then this is what I get. So it's a it's an kind of empty good data project, but if I go into the manage section and I looked for the model, you can see that good data has already created a model, data logical data model for me, just from the connections that I actually set up in that table. And what I can do with this right now, I can set up reports. So let's try this. I'll show you something very simple. So I, you know, I set up a new report 
it's a, it'll be it'll be a new metric. It'll be sum on let's say visits from visitors table, and I'll add this. Then I'll add a new metric. It'll be sum let's say page views and will come from the same table and I'll add this now we can see it's only like two numbers the total sum of uh, for that period of time total sum of visits is 132 page views 152 but I would like to see it according to dates so I slice it by the date and boom, I get this table. I don't like it. I just change it and it looks like this. So this is the power of Kibula. We have created the uh, data collaboration and management uh, framework for you so you can easily do it and the power of good data. You can do lots of other things with that and your actually end reports and graphs can look for example, a bit like this. That's a nice one, which actually creates all the reports. So it's a fictive, it's a fictive uh, company called SuperSoda, and Great has created some, some you know, like an examples of what you can do. So it would be like marketing expenditures according to demographics, channels, campaigns. You know how. How much they cost how many impressions you can have it according to channel you know and stuff then you would have a sales data which would be extracted from different data source and you could actually look uh, on the data according through the product perspective so cola you would have cola how many sold you know units and what channels discount channel mom and pop and stuff but what if i would like to see how many colas were sold inside these channels you know through those channels so i just simply go and i drill down on this and just look at it you know very easy see it's all it's very easy you can set up with all your reports you can set up export to pdf you can set up mailing so your clients if they use it for reporting they can have my automatic mailings and it can come to their mailboxes every day or how they schedule it. And the best part of it, it's all it's like documented and all of this is like built on top of REST APIs. So you can use the whole system, you know, like a whole stack of components and the storages and data sources and stuff. Or you can use just one stack, just the transformation API or stuff like that, which is kind of uh, what Avas guys from Avas.com, the one of the largest antivirus companies, actually use. So that's it, guys. Thank you, and I hope this actually made things a little bit, a little bit clearer for you. So have fun. Bye.